I just wanted to do a little introduction for our first art vlog. Just a quick look at the process that I that I used for this painting. Um, for this one, I kind of I tried to simplify it quite a bit, just so that it wasn't so overwhelming. So I darkened the background first before I started working on the actual flowers and greenery. It's funny, I never realized how I was pushing my painting back while I was painting until I had seen the video afterwards. I generally just mix my colors on the palette while I'm painting. I don't really pre-mix them, I just create them as I'm going. So that's why while I'm doing the sunflower, it takes me a while because I'm really adjusting my colors. I ended up just painting over my reference entirely in the greener in the back there. Most of the time I just end up painting over it. This time I really just, I put in a lot of detail just so that I can show people what it's going to be in the end. You can kind of see the other sunflowers and the leaves and, but it's not really necessary to put that much of the background detail or I guess reference in behind. But if you have any questions about how I did any of the stuff you've seen on here, just let me know love to answer your questions. I'm basically just gonna jibber jabber throughout this whole video just to make it more interesting for you guys to watch. I've spent the last couple months kind of just learning these editing programs and just lighting and how to film them so that we could start making these. Nathan's gonna also make some in the future. So yeah let us know what you think or if you have any questions or things you want to see. Even if you want to know like how I how I put it together, or like how we filmed it, or what's the best lighting. I mean, we're kind of learning too, but any, any questions are welcome. I had quite a few people ask me if I would teach them or show them some certain techniques, so I figured this was kind of a good way to show people, like a kind of film, film it and kind of talk about it and answer any questions. If you guys have any suggestions on how we can make these better or more interesting, just let us know too, please. It would be nice to do a video on like primary colors and showing how you can pretty much just use the primary colors to do any painting so you don't have to go out and buy like a crazy amount of oil paint. The reference for this painting was one that we actually took ourselves, so we've kind of been teaching ourselves some photography skills too, which hasn't been going great, but we're figuring it out now. And I actually made this flower arrangement. I feel like the ladies that I used to work with at the flower shop in Carlisle would probably be a little disappointed in it, but I did my best. It was like my first flower arrangement. <laughs> if you're wondering what the stick is for, it's just so that I don't stick my hand in the fresh oil paint, which I still managed to do several times. <laughs> So because I had pre-painted the background, it had already dried, so every time I went into a new area that was fresh, I had to repaint the background around it just so that it blended it better and kind of had a more realistic look, not such sharp edges. I don't generally paint like that, but I just figured it would be easy to show people, or maybe just quicker to show people what it was going to look like in the end rather than just painting it as I go, which I normally would do. Yeah, well, thanks for watching, and um, please subscribe just so we know that if people are interested or not. And if you have any questions or if you have anything you'd like to see in future videos, just let us know. We do have some other videos in the works, so we're excited to share those with you guys next.